Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Harry Cruz and today I'm going to be releasing another video on the gateway to gratitude and why it is incredibly important to have a gratitude routine in your life. Now, what is gratitude? It's quite self-explanatory really. It's a feeling or sensation that you know you are appreciative of the things that you have or the feelings that you have around you. For instance, your friends, your family, things you have, sentimental things, bedroom, accommodation, etc. And the power of gratitude, what you can use with gratitude is the fact that you can actually utilise it in your own mindset. So if you're worried or anxious about anything coming up in the future, perhaps you've got an observation or an exam or... You know, something that's really stressful and it's stressing you out in your head and your mind and it's taking a lot of your headspace, as it were. Now, to segue a little bit from gratitude, if you're constantly worrying about something in particular, something that's giving you anxious thoughts and, and feelings, normally you think about it a lot. So, to counter this, a gratitude routine would be a really beneficial thing because not only are you not thinking about the thing you're worrying about so much but you are training your mind to think about something more positive and something that uplifts you and gives you emotions and feelings and sensations that help you in your day-to-day -day life and to actually help you combat and cope with negative thoughts and emotions too so Let's say you're worried about an exam. Let's say, let's continue with this example. And it's on Monday. You can, instead of thinking about, oh, you know, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to pass or vice versa. Think about what, you're actually, what, what you've actually got ahead of you, you know. You've got so much potential. And you've got a family, you've got a home most likely. And you've got loads of things going on for you that if you looked back three even just a year ago two three years ago you wanted what you have now so it's a funny thing that it's a in the mind we always want more we always want to grow and develop and that's how we are as human beings we evolve over time but take a pause especially if you're nervous about something or you're down or a little bit depressed take a moment and look back at actually how far you've come one task I like to do on occasion is to just get myself a notebook and write down all the accomplishments that I have made in my life so far and that can be as small as winning a quiz in scouts or doing assemblies and presentations Com you know, combating your fears. What in your life has made you incredibly proud of yourself? And you'll be surprised. I reckon your list would be quite long, you know. So, and, and that that feeling of you writing down your accomplishments and what you're grateful for in your life is a fantastic way for you to kind of ready yourself and to almost armour yourself against any unwanted environments or negative thoughts so that's why I think right um, gratitude is so powerful of a exercise and feeling because you literally can cultivate a aura and a sense of confidence from what you've done previously I remember last year I really really wanted to pass my driving test but because of COVID and things, I had to wait, be patient. But now, I've ticked that box off. So when I was writing, when I was journaling a few days ago, that was one of the things I included in my list. And it just makes, it puts life into perspective, especially with everything going on in the Ukraine at the moment and parts of Russia. With the combat going there, I mean, an exam result to a Ukrainian at the moment is is nothing in comparison to what they're going through at the moment. So putting life into perspective too can also 
help as well dealing with problems and you're actually breaking down the root of why you are emotionally worried or sad about a particular circumstance and remember as well you've got the power to change you've got the power to adapt and evolve still still got so much time ahead of you even if it takes what a month two months to kind of adapt six months to get things momentumous and, and to flow so much time so you really want to change you really want to evolve and develop yourself from something that's happened in the past then fantastic but of course remember as well don't deny if you are feeling sad and upset you you know make sure you talk to someone i'm no medical professional but it's always worth having a discussion about how you're feeling but i find the gratitude exercise a really powerful one to not only put things in, into perspective for you logically but also it helps you with dealing with unwanted emotions and negative emotions at that and reinforcing positive ones so i hope you found this short video very useful um, if you would be so kind to like and subscribe these videos, it would really help the algorithms, you know, with this channel. And um, I will be making a lot more in the future. I'm also looking at doing a history monarch list as well. I'll be starting with William the Conqueror and I'll be discussing each monarch as well in turn and what I think of them and how, how the monarch's behaviours might be of benefit to you. So I'm looking for, through the monarchy histories from a personal development side of things, talking about their history and their events too, but also how they've impacted society and and uh, the UK at large. But anyways, I will let you get on. You take care of yourself, have a good, lovely day, and I'll speak to you very soon. Take care.